Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you stopped by. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and for today's video, it's all about this stuff. So I want to do kind of like an empties video and just go through what I've used and see if I did like it or if I, if I didn't like it and if I would repurchase it or not. So there's a lot of different stuff, not only makeup, but some skincare and some stuff like that. So yeah, but if you want to see the products that I have used up lately and how they worked, what I thought about them, then you know what you do. Just keep on watching. Let's see what we have in here. I have this box full of different stuff so I might just start with the most boring stuff or at least it's most boring to me I will start with the products that is not makeup so first of all this is the Batiste uh, dry shampoo for uh, dark hair so you have a lot of different kinds from this brand you have the normal kind, you know, the one that sprays out white. For me, that does not work because I have dark brown hair. So if I use that, I would get like a ooh, like a white cast. But this kind is for dark brown hair. One for brunette as well. It's a little bit lighter than this one. But I find that this one works the best with my hair color. This one is really cheap. I will put the price somewhere on the screen. This is my favorite dry shampoo. I find that it works really well and it contains all my oil in my hair so it doesn't look greasy at all. I have been using this a lot so this is probably like my 30th bottle or something like that. So as you can see I really like this one. That's why I bought a new one. Of course I always have to have this on hand. I really like that. I recommend it if you have dark hair. Try it out. See what you think. Then on to something I don't know. Should I even take this in the video? Everybody uses deodorant so why not talk about it? We all need it. I really like the stick deodorant because sometimes I feel like the wet kinds kind of get like sticky and I really like the stick uh, deodorants because I feel like they last longer and it keeps my like sweat to a minimal, you know, minimum. So the point of this one is that I love everything pear. Pear candy, pear smell, pear ice, cream and this smells like pears. It smells so fresh and good so you smell fresh nice like a pear. I'm pear shaped so fits kind of kind of well I guess. The only thing about these stick deodorants is that they transfer a lot. If you want to put like a sweater especially if it's a darker color or not white they will leave a white residue on your clothes. If you're not uh, careful. So I just wanted to mention this because it smells so fantastic. The next thing is this Cosmica Face Day Cream. 3 plus 3 day cream. It's for dry skin and I've been using this uh, for a long while now and I really enjoy it. So yeah. If you have dry skin this is really nice. And it's without any perfume in it. So I really like that as well because I have sensitive skin so it can react with a lot of perfume in my face and stuff like that. And then we move on to makeup because we have a lot in this box. So I can start off with the newest mascara I have been trying out. It looks like crap right now, I'm sorry about that. It's the Maybelline Total Temptation and the wand looks like this actually really like this mascara. I found that it was nice to my lashes and I know that everyone has different lashes. Let's just be honest. 
And I know that a lot of the mascaras I'm gonna talk about is some people's favorite and they rave about them, but everybody's different, everybody have different preferences. Some people have long lashes, some people have a lot of hairs, some people have like short stubby lashes, some people have like, you know, bended lashes, some people have straightforward lashes and yeah, you know what I mean. So just a disclaimer, that even though I don't like the product it doesn't mean that you can't like the product. We are all different and we have different situations in our faces. So yeah, just a dis disclaimer so don't come for me if I say that I don't like a product that you like. But this mascara works on me. I really like it. So if you have lashes like me you might like it too. So enough said. And then we come to the Tarte Shape Tape. I have used about three of these. To be honest, I thought that I really liked this concealer, but I found myself struggling a little bit lately with concealers um, and in general like my skin. And I find that it has such an amazing coverage it does it really does it covers everything but my problem is that I find that it it creases on me and it's not supposed to crease I have a lot of wrinkles underneath my eyes as you can see like fine lines and everything seems to just cling on to them and just crackle and snackle and backle I don't know I found that I don't reach for this concealer as much as I did, but I really love this for cut creases and also uh, to put like a base uh, before my eyeshadow because it covers up all my veins. I can't say that it's my favorite anymore, don't come for me. But as I said, we are all different. We have different situations with our skin. I don't think I would re purchase it right now. So next we have the NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. The tip looks like this. So it's a nice tip. Uh, this was okay. I find it to be kind of like, I don't know, a little bit big in a way. I don't know if it's the packaging. It's a, a little bit bulky. I don't know. I can show you like a comparison to the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's kind of smaller and what is that? It was a bubble. It worked fine. It did. Um, I found that it dried up a little bit fast. Um, but yeah, it, it was okay, I guess. But I probably wouldn't buy this again. Uh, I haven't missed it since I haven't been using it. So next thing is these lashes. It's like three single lashes in one. Uh, they are from KISS and it's called Hot Couture Natural Premium Lashes. This is probably my third box, I think. Uh, I like to use this on clients. They are so nice because when you use like indiv individual lashes, it can take some time because you have to use a lot of them. But since these are like three in one, it's so fast and so easy. I will probably repurchase them. Repurchase them as well. Next, we have this NYX Matte Finish Spray. Oh. So this spray was okay. Uh, I wasn't like amazed by it, and I actually don't remember if. I felt like my makeup lasted longer with it on. I'm not sure if I would repurchase it because probably maybe. It's it's an it's 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 okay, you know. Uh the mist on this is it's kinda nice actually, it's not bad. Next we have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I bought my third one not long ago uh, and I really like it I really like it I love it actually I think it's so creamy and nice and it's so easy to blend out not too creamy and not too waxy feeling I find it like yeah so and it's not expensive at all 
I will keep repurchasing repurchasing it forever. Maybe not, but yeah. Next, we have this Volume Million Lashes Mascara by L'Oreal. I have been using this one for years. I kind of don't like it, but I still have been using it for years. I don't know. I had this period where I find I found a mascara and just I couldn't buy a new one. I just and when I was going into the store and I wanted a new one, I was like, "How am I supposed to pick a mascara? There's 900 different ones. I have tried this one, so I was like, "Okay, I'll just keep buying that one." But then I finally realized that it's not that great. I believe my lashes really clumpy they don't look separated they give me like a great like you know but still when my lashes are like this it's not nice so thank god i finally tried something new and then keep on to this one so i will not repurchase this one and then we have this lava art compact cushion this is a cushion foundation looks like this I really enjoy this. It's so lightweight and it doesn't feel like you have any makeup on at all and it looks really dewy and fresh. The only thing is that you have to kind of man maintain it for the rest of the day. I get kind of like really oily here and often uh, my foundations will start to like deteriorate or like uh, crack up and be like nasty looking. But I really enjoyed it. It's nice if you don't want like a lot of makeup on, if you just want to feel a little bit fresh. I probably wouldn't repurchase repurchase this because I like a little bit more coverage. It has nice coverage, it does, but after I found my Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation, I'm like, Jesus, take me now! So, yeah. And then we go on to the L'Oreal Infallible. Um, 24 hours day fresh foundation that's a lie but we can all agree on that foundations are not supposed to last for 24 hours it's not good for your skin I think I enjoyed this foundation I don't know if I will repurchase it because I have like two more bottles of it because I was like hit by the love train or something I don't know uh, I haven't tried it in a while so I gonna try it out again I will do but this shade is a little bit dark to me. I thought that I was a lot darker than I was. And uh, I finally realized that I am really pale. Next, we go into the, the Maybelline Fall Seas Push Up Angel. The one looks like this. This one I did not like at all. Uh, I felt like it didn't do anything for me. Uh, it made my uh, lashes really clumpy and they didn't it didn't separate my lashes at all and I felt like Usually my my lashes are really like have a nice curve to them But this just they just fell down. They didn't want to stay up. So For me, I do not want to repurchase this one I forgot to show you the wand on the volume million lashes. So I will just quickly do that It looks like this nextly we have the hula bronzer everybody raves about this i loved it for a long while as you can see from the inside it's like just crumbles and bits left uh, but i realized that this is actually too warm for me i feel like i f felt like I can't get away with it, but I would maybe try maybe try out the Hula Light. Uh, so I will not repurchase this one, but maybe the Hula Light one. Because next we have this is everybody's favorite mascara. It's the L'Oreal Paradise Aesthetic Mascara. I wanted to love this mascara so much. Everybody was raving about it. I, I couldn't wait to get my fingers on it, my hands on it. Uh, and when I got it, I was kind of disappointed. My lashes was really clumpy and I kind of crumbled off, you know, like off my lashes and you had like these tiny bits everywhere underneath your eyes. So I felt like it was kind of too dry. I also found that it dried out really fast. 
I will not repurchase this. Nextly we have the Inglot Duraline uh, and this uh, is a really nice mixing liquid. If you want anything to be like liquid, it makes everything waterproof, waterproof. Ah. First it's like liquid and then it dries down so if you want to use it if you want to use like an eyeshadow for eyeliner you can just scrape some of that off and take a little drop of this mix it together and you are you're good to go so I will definitively repurchase this one nextly we have the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliner in sapphire I really like this one it's such an amazing color and the brush tip is quite nice as well it's really tiny so it's like easy to get like precise lines I find it to be it can sometimes crack a little bit but I don't find that this blue one is the worst but I will uh, repurchase this I... but when it comes to this one the white liquid liner by NYX I know a lot of you feel the same way as I do if you have tried this this cracks so bad it does not look good at all I will not repurchase it if you have like a really nice eyeshadow just want a little bit of white eyeliner or something like that please don't you will mess that up I also want to put in like a disclaimer when I don't like a product it's not about the brand it's about the product because a lot of these brands that I have been talking about I really love the brand I love a lot of products from them but this product did not work and to the last product of my empties we go into the Maybelline uh, New York Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner that's a long word not the long word, long name this is a gel eyeliner right now it looks like a mess it's so dried out that uh, I wouldn't give this to my worst enemy but yeah but except that it's uh, dried out I really like this eyeliner I feel like it lasts a good amount of time on my eyes and I also feel like it's really easy to apply it's really creamy and nice and it also dries down so yeah it doesn't smudge as much I think if I can remember but yeah you can also use it on your waterline as well it works nice for that and I feel like sometimes it's it actually lasts longer than normal eyeliners you know but yeah that's my opinion but yeah so I will I, I have actually repurchased this one so yeah and before I go I just want to uh, say sorry for my looks today I look kind of tired but I've been in the sun all day that's a lie I haven't been all day but I was in the sun for a few hours I was doing some barbecue with some cheese sausages the sound is so gross in English but yeah that's why this situation is going on but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know, comment down below, thumbs up the video to the top. And if you haven't already, I don't know why you haven't, but if you haven't already, please subscribe to my video. I am trying to post every Thursday, every week. If you don't want to miss my next video and my videos coming, please click the bell down below. Uh, so you get a notification when I post my videos. It's for now. See you in my next video. Bye. My god, I have yellow teeth. <gasps> like a mess. Look like a mess. Look like a mess. Mess, mess, mess. Bye. Thanks for watching.